All right, today I'm gonna to be doing a conversion on my 2011 Lexus CT200H. I'm gonna be putting a conversion kit on here for using a spin-on oil filter instead of the factory cartridge style. The first step is gonna be getting the car up on uh, jack stands or ramps if you have them. Uh, but you're gonna to wanna to be able to have the passenger side tire uh, free so you can take it off. So I put mine up, put mine up on ramps and then uh, jacked up the passenger side a little bit further from there. You can go ahead and do a uh, normal oil change minus the filter and uh, minus putting the oil back in. So just get the oil drained out and then we'll be starting the conversion process from there. All right, these are the parts you're gonna be needing. A couple O-rings, a union, the oil filter bracket assembly itself. This is what we're gonna be taking off the engine and then reinstalling the new one. And then a oil filter for a 2015 or newer uh, Toyota Corolla. In the description of the video, I'm going to have listed the part numbers uh, that you'll need to order, um, as well as an article going over the same thing I'm showing you here in video form. All right, once you get the oil drained out, next thing you want to do is remove this panel right here. You've got a couple different fasteners to pop off. Use a panel uh, trim removal tool and pop those out of there. Okay, once you get that loosened up, there's actually a couple more hidden fasteners back here, but I don't feel like taking out the whole fender thing, so I'm just gonna pull it back like this to get access to it, and then you can see the five bolts. One, two, three, four, five. They're gonna have to take out to get the uh, oil filter off. All right, take these off the 12 millimeter. Since the uh, oil filter is probably going to have some oil in it, it's going to be a good idea to have an oil drain pan underneath to catch the oil that falls out. And then uh, a correction is there's actually only four bolts. One, two, three, four. This fifth one up here is for something else. Well, as I figured, there was actually quite a bit of oil in the oil filter. So uh, good thing I had the oil drain pan under there. And then the next thing you're going to have to do is pull these two oil rings out of these uh, inlet and outlet here um, and then replace those with the ones that you ordered. Next, you're going to want to Take your uh, union and mate that to the oil filter housing. You're going to need a 12 millimeter Allen or hex uh, key for that. Do it by hand and then just tighten it down. Okay, and then we're going to put the oil filter on right away. It's easy to access now. You can fill it up with oil if you want first, but this one actually comes pre greased. From Toyota. Plus, if you put oil in it ahead of time, you're probably going to have oil pouring out of it when you uh, put it on the car. So that's the full assembly. Next thing up, I'm just going to put these old rings in and then mount it to the car. To get the old old rings out, just using a little L-shaped pick. Pop it right out of there. Got it mounted on the engine. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts up. I'm not sure what the torque spec is on these, but you can't be too much. I'm just gonna do it by feel. Don't wanna over tighten them, just get them snug. All right, we'll go ahead and start it up and make sure we're not leaking any oil. All right, looks good. 